What's going on guys, Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at a new product. But before we jump into any of that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Now let's jump into it. Alright folks, so we're going to be taking a look at the Reef Breeders Reef Power RPM, which is a controllable power head. Uh, pretty interesting looking, looks really sleek very similar to what you would expect with a uh, vortex but much more value packed uh, so some of the features right here on the side says 12 months usa warranty wireless controller six unique wave modes built in timer and programming up to 2500 gallons per hour ultra compact and works in glass up to 0.6 inches. Uh, so over a half an inch in glass width. Uh, this guy's gonna work just fine. And so we've got our user's manual. Always make sure you read your user's manual before operation. You have your controller, some pigtails, double-sided tape, I'm thinking, maybe. Or is it just packing material? Double-sided foam power head itself nice so you don't have a complete like power brick you just have uh, an adapter and a plug looks like you got a good amount of cord there plugs into your controller I squished my box and then you have the power head itself now that is very interesting Wow, all right, so you got your magnet. It's got a little bit of rubber on there. Nice strong magnet, good little snap. You have a very compact, let's see if it comes apart here. There it does. All right, so it's magnet driven. That's really neat how your motor is right there. And then the actual propeller goes over the entire motor. And then the magnet actually sits inside. Very interesting. Goes back together pretty easily. It is very compact. And I feel like, you know, with this design, probably throw some water. We'll take a look at it here in a second. Um, pretty impressed with the uh, how compact that is. Because I've found the longer that I've been in the hobby, I really don't like it when you have a power head, like, just completely, like four or five inches you know sticking into the water column I really do prefer this style of uh, power head which is you know very low profile like this is something that you could put you know behind your rock work in your tank uh, and obviously have the ability to control it have it kick on you know after the lights go off so that uh, all that detritus that may be sitting in between your rocks or in the back there uh, gets pulled out but um, so far pretty impressed with this being a value power head all right so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna head over to the aquarium we're gonna put this guy up set it up and see how much water the rpm can actually move oh no I'll rescue a coral there all right um wow so mp10 it's been in the tank for a while uh, running and we just put this guy in and I guess I got a little bit of a dead spot that this guy has now fixed because my tank is now an absolute snowstorm. Detroit as much. Um, I haven't even had a chance to take a look at the controller yet but uh, just from what I'm seeing right now you can kind of check out the flow of that guy so it's definitely pulling in a ton of water in through the back and then pushing it out in a very broad uh, pattern you can see it's competing with an mp10 and it's doing a pretty good job so after looking at it with a little bit more detail taking a look at the user's manual there's a number of different modes on this pump and I think the one that I've kind of have found, or this two actually, that I like probably the most is the pulse mode, which is what this is right here. 
even though that it's not quite getting all the way or at least to the midway point of the tank it is offering a unique flow pattern definitely and i'm kind of digging this flow uh, as far as a pulse goes my second favorite is the reverse which it actually pulls the water right through the main body or the main opening of the pump and actually pushes it out the back which it goes down and up at the same time so there's a lot of different modes on here that are pretty uh, useful and for example you get constant pulse anti-sync natural mode reef mode reverse mode and then timer mode which with timer mode you can use up to six modes in timer mode pretty awesome user's manual is definitely a must you need to check it out uh, and the total power consumption of this bad boy is 25 watts so you're getting a whole lot of pump at a pretty decent price and you can still see the detritus blowing around here i'm going to leave this guy going for a little bit uh, i think i may have found a good sleek little budget friendly power head in the rpm mm -hmm.